Hey guys, Killer6, and a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about how to use Super Fun Time Engine. You've seen my videos where I've swapped out for a bunch of Pete's in the barroom brawl, and you've seen my videos where I swap out a bunch of tubbies and where I make a bunch of vermies appear even. So I'm going to show you guys today how to use Super Fun Time Engine. Now, the, the most important thing for you guys to, to know and to respect is that when you're using this, make sure that the people in your game know that you're using this. Don't deceive people and be like, wow, look at all the magical drops that we're getting. Be completely honest with people. Let them know. If they're cool with it, then everybody will have fun. If they don't want to do it, just let them know that, that you're about to do it. That way they can go find something else to do, okay? So that's, uh, we got that out of the way. Uh, also, it should be noted that I did not create this uh, cheat table here. Um, Gathalion didn't create it either, but he's the one that uh, turned me on to this. So, um, credit goes to whoever made that. I wish I knew who did make it. I would gladly give them a uh, shout out in this video. All right, so with that said, let's get started. So first off, as you can see, I've already got Borderlands running over here. And let's tab over to this. We're gonna go ahead and start Cheat Engine. And it's gonna say this table contains a Lua script. Do you wanna run it? Yes. All right, that is gonna pop up a debug window and the actual cheat Compilation by Technojacker. Okay, Technojacker. That's who we can give credit to. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to click this Enable box. And what that's going to do is, as long as you're not in a menu over here in your game, or if you're out at the main screen, if you're actually in your game, then it's going to start the uh, the script, as you can see right here, Script Enabled. Alright, so there's a few basic things that uh, that I'm proficient at with Cheat Engine, and there's some other things that I don't know how to do anything with right now. So first thing is uh, scripts and this is the one that uh, Gathalion did in his video he turned on the Unreal Engine which allows you to fly do slow-mo you can go through walls etc etc uh, then there's also you know there's a bunch of other things in here but uh, the thing that we're gonna focus on here in just a second is the enemy swapper so but first with that said we're gonna go do some flying real quick so turn this on. I have trouble getting mine to work. Alright, there we go. So now I can fly. We're just going to fly over here to Pyro Pete's bar. Super easy. All I had to do was push the number 2 on my keypad and all of a sudden I could fly. So I was able to skip past all the enemies here and then run into a wall like a genius. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're in Pyro Pete's bar, I'm going to turn off flight. And to turn that off, you just push 2 again. And as you can see, I'm no longer flying. Alright. So now, before we walk into the bar, I want to uh, change the spawns of everything in the bar. So we're going to go back over here to Super Fun Time, and we're going to click on this Lua Script Enablers, which is underneath the Scripts tab. And underneath that, there's this thing called the Enemy Swapper Mod. So we're going to check mark that. All right. Now this brings up this box that has this Generate List option here. So what you do is when you get to the area where you want to find enemies that you can swap out. For example, I'm in Power of Pete's bar. Once I get in here, I hit Generate List. It's going to tell me everything that's in the bar, or everything that can spawn in the bar, and everything that I can switch it to over here. So for example, you got the uh, rate or the rat mix and beat down. And when you click on that, it tells you that there's a rat thief and a rat tunnel. So if I click on rat thief, and then I come over here and I double click Power of Pete, then it's going to switch to Power of Pete. But what we actually want is Raid Pete. So we're going to double click on Raid Pete instead. And same thing with this rat tunnel. And we're going to click on Raid Pete. Um, and then your regular Power Pete, we're going to make him Raid Pete. Engineer Arms, we're going to make him Raid Pete. <laughs> we're going to make everything Raid Pete because why the hell not? I have a Death Wish. I also have the Boar skill. <laughs> so we're going to just see how that goes not so well. He doesn't have a big hitbox. He doesn't have multiple hitboxes, so four is not going to do me a whole lot of good here. Matter of fact, I'm going to die a bunch, but that's okay. And Raid Pete, you don't want to switch with Raid Pete. Won't do anything. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and continue to switch all these out. And the last one. Alright, so now everything in the bar is going to be Raid Pete's. Uh, let's see, I've got ammo. Alright, we're good. Alright, so these guys had already spawned in, so they aren't going to be Raid Pete's, but anything else that spawns in fresh will be Raid Pete's. So, let's go ahead and uh, start killing these guys. Let's sham fleet these guys. 
Alright, and let's just get right into it. And now you can see we got a bunch of power repeats popping in. So there's one. There's one up there for sure. There's that guy there. Let's go up top, take a look. Power repeat. <laughs> power repeat. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now once uh, the next group of guys pops up into the area, they're all going to be power repeats as well. <laughs> I killed something through him. Don't know what, but something died. But as you can see, this can get really ugly really quick. So there you have it, guys. That is how to use Cheat Engine. If you want, I can show you guys more in detailed uh, tips and tricks with Cheat Engine. But if you enjoyed this video, then please take a moment to click that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.